The grab tool is a multi-purpose tool for distorting meshes and correcting strokes. You can adjust the size of the grab tool by pressing up and down the analog stick. By pulling the trigger with the grab tool, you can grab and distort mesh. This can be useful for creating smear frames, adding facial expressions, or adjusting strokes or poses. See how quickly I can change his facial expression by using the grab tool. With the strength slider, you can adjust how much the area is affected. At full strength, you can move the head all around, but at low strength, it'll just budge around slightly. A useful thing about the grab tool is that no matter how far you stretch a stroke, you can always bring it back to its initial pose. You can adjust the focus of the tool by holding the left trigger and pushing up and down on the right analog stick. Strokes within the focus area will not be distorted when being grabbed and moved. This can be useful if you want to pose a character's arm, for instance, without the actual arm geometry changing too much. When posing characters this way, you have to be careful, because anything within the circle will be affected. The grab tool works best when you have a lot of geometry to work from. On the left is a sphere made up of many strokes. As you can see, you can bend it, you can distort it, it has a lot of flexibility. The sphere on the right was made with the line tool technique and is made of only one stroke. As you can see, it has a lot less flexibility than the sphere on the left. For more information on making a sphere like this one, check out my lathing video. There'll be a link in the description. The grab tool can also be used to correct strokes. Let's say you draw a circle, but it's kind of lopsided. You can use the grab tool to move and distort that circle back into a shape that you're happy with. Or correcting lines. The grab tool can also be used while your animation is playing, which will allow you to puppet your animations. I'll explain this further in another video. In an animated sequence like this ball bounce, you can use the grab tool to get your squash and stretch. Or make adjustments to the position of your frames. You can push the mesh away from your center pivot or bring it towards it by pushing up and down on the analog stick. By pushing it too far, you can get unexpected results, but a subtle change in size is usually not too bad.